I am in Lagodi, Indiana at the Birdhouse Paradise of Bill Larkin, and I am joined by my good friend Jay Dizzle. Do um, you want to say anything? Yeah, first time on Hoosier Boo. Feels like, uh, you know, I've been a fan for forever. Right, right. Exci excited I have a lot to, of those. Uh, to finally join the show. Yeah, so uh, we're going to go check this place out. So on this side road, there are a lot of colorful birdhouses and a geodesic dome. Uh, very unusual sighting, but it's going to be amazing. Ain't that right? Yeah, that's... <laughs> I wanted to take Jackson here because uh, he has a love of birds and... Uh, everything avian. Yeah, everything avian, so uh, there's lots of bird statues. Uh, we haven't seen any real birds here though. We can we hear, hear a, a few. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but we can't see any, so we're gonna keep an eye out for some real birds. So the birds have a lot of places to choose where they build their nests, but this one bird decided to do it in his uh, newspaper box. All right out front, there's a bunch of angels and religious figures. Here's uh, the birth of Jesus, and then this praying man tish. <laughs> Look at this fab bird. That boy can't fly. His tail fell off. So Bill lives in this geodesic dome on property and uh, there is no charge to come here and uh, when he's home he'll let you go inside so uh, that's what we're gonna do. The inside of the geodesic dome is absolutely insane. It is filled floor to dome ceiling with birdhouses and Christmas lights that never come down. Mr. Larkin was home watching TV but he welcomed us into his home and we chatted with him a little bit. He's a really nice guy. He worked as a coder for the military for several decades. Then when he retired he wanted to see color every day because it was a very boring job in a room with no colors and no windows. So first he tried planting flowers all around the geodesic dome, but having a garden is a lot of work every season, so instead he started constructing and painting birdhouses about a decade ago. He's also painted about 20,000 rocks on the property, and goes through and repaints every single one of them every once in a while. This is the kitchen. He does let every visitor pick out two little birdhouses that he has. Descending into the lower level of the geodesic dome, there's less birdhouses down here, but there's still a lot of birdhouses. What else did you expect? And this is the birdhouse assembly and painting studio, and there's always something being worked on. And that's not all, this place is completely surrounded by colorful birdhouses. And the rocks too, the yeah. rocks. This place is so expansive. <laughs> there's so many birdhouses. He's literally giving away two to everyone, like, that's how many birdhouses he's got. Jeez. Alright, down here there's a bunch of small children who are all gilded. I'm these very are, confused. These are all the children that he's imprisoned and... Did I say you could walk there? Yeah, I don't know where to walk. Oh, it looks like right here we have some Indiana Cardinals. A 
Look at this menacing garden gnome army. So most of them have, uh, have fallen. Welcome to the nut house. You excited to go to the nut house? Oh, I was born ready. <laughs> I was I was born in the nut house. <laughs> There's like a totem pole here. There are faces on the tree. This is utter madness. How many birdhouses do you think there are? Definitely more than six. I'm like less than eight or I I don't know if we can say that. There's okay. there's quite a few. Yeah. Alright, I think this is a statue of Saint Francis of Assisi. Sorry if I got that wrong. Can't remember who is symbolized by the dove. There's so many birdhouses, I'm so overwhelmed. Yeah, so this place is so big we have to cross a bridge to see the whole thing. Okay, this is perhaps the most magical thing here. If you look above that butterfly in the wheelbarrow there, you can see a floating leaf. It's the magic of the birdhouses. It's blowing it up. This guy's geodesic dome is super cool. I want to live in a geodesic dome now. Well, this bridge is stable. It appears the creek between the birdhouses is dried up. This is going to make a great, like, haunted place after. I don't know if it's the most sturdy thing. This bridge is fine. Like any given place like this, the owners always have some trouble keeping up with the place. There's some like parts from the birdhouse stands and some broken birdhouses. Now here are the blue smurf children. Here's a circle full of thick concrete birds. These thick birds just got thrown into this heart. This is a rest in peace for the thick birds. Mm, yeah. Hey, you want to take a seat there? <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know if that's 100% uh, safe, but who's your boo? I have a name. The Jacob that I've loved for 30 It's only who's your boo. <laughs> Who did I even make? There's a little statue of Mary. Have you seen enough birdhouses yet? There's no no such thing as enough birdhouses. That's true. When you're a bill never house, enough birdhouses. Yeah. Never. There's a bunch of birdhouses around this propane tank. All right, I think we found the the creepiest thing here. And here's a bunch of gilded rabbits. Look, these birds are kissing. All 
All right, we're getting our, our birdhouse haul here. <laughs> so I got, I got the green one and the, and the uh, red are, star of are communism we, are we, one. Are we starting our vlog now? Yeah, we are. Well, yeah. this is going later. I'll show, show off the, uh, show off my birdhouses. You know, oh, got, you got the lighthouse. That's yeah, a good one. Yeah, I got one. the lighthouse. You know, American colors, because I, because I'm proud to be American. Yeah, right. So, uh, right. Yeah, we got the we got the commie and the American one. <laughs> All right. I'm more American than him. So I'm here at this random cemetery, um, but I saw this sculpture. Uh, this is a replica of Michelangelo's Pieta, which is like one of the most beautiful and amazing sculptures ever made. Uh, so that's cool, and you can see the American flag in the background, and the moon. It's a pretty good sculpture, too. It's pretty good cast. I'm used to dog attacks. One guy holds the camera, and the guy fights off the dog. Do you think this guy owns the... graveyard? Look, shopping. Carter's gun store. <laughs> Alright, we're now in Shoals, Indiana, and through the fall foliage right there, you can see Jug Rock. Route 50 passes right by this rock, but you can't really see it. Very odd rock formation. Now look at their uh, mascot for Jug Rock, Jug Rocks. It's the mascot of uh, the Shoals the high, high School. school. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. And uh, apparently on the Indiana Byways road trip, which I've never even heard of, uh, you can get a Jug Rock stamp at a store. Yeah, there's, town. A, there's a brochure too. Okay, this thing is actually way taller than I, I thought it was from back there. This thing is 50 feet tall. That's pretty cool. This is limestone country, so here we have one of the most majestic uh, limestone landmarks in the state, except this one is natural. Unfortunately, there uh, appears to be some graffiti. That sucks. Apparently, is that poop? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is poop. And uh, oh, this side is really graffitied up. Eighty-four, ninety-two. This isn't See, Indiana isn't just flat. We have Jug Rock. Indiana's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You think I should climb it? No. Are you sure? I kind of want to try it out. <laughs> Never mind. Somebody got all the way up there to get that graffiti. See that one? <laughs> And you can see uh, there are uh, some plants on top of the rock. <laughs> Do you think anybody's ever climb like actually climbed to the top? Definitely. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine if we had this sort of thing in Fishers? There'd be like uh, eight businesses right next to it. Yep. All right, so I'm taking Jackson here, hey. uh, who spends a lot of time here in Bloomington, uh, to a place he's never heard of. The Abandoned Knight's Ridge Observatory. I've done a video here before that's a little more in-depth on the history, but basically uh, this place opened and then it closed when Bloomington uh, got too close as it was expanding in the 1970s, and here it sat abandoned for about 40 years, but it's still intact. I think it's time to go. Yeah, I think there are college kids coming. This is the first floor. Still has a kind of a ceiling. 
Of hey, course, who, this is all being held up by this one beam here. Who's your boo? Yeah, what's up? Oh, I think somebody tried to cross it out. All right, there's a little uh, message to the president. There's a message to myself. And then, uh, leave, know you, or die. Whoa, where'd you come from? Did you just jump down? I'm, I'm, I'm baller, man. <laughs> Can't catch me. You can see like a quarter of the dome has been blown out, probably by like lightning or something. And uh, last time I was here, there was more of the copper dome and the original frame here, but it looks like more is like fallen. All right, so I did find out that uh, the telescope that used to be here is now at the uh, Voorhees State Park in New Jersey. And of course, there's some wonderful graffiti here. Some of these are, are pretty, pretty good roasts. So apparently I use students come here either to, uh, you know, do the thing or to roast each other. Like this one says, Charlie Walker has homosexual tendencies. And only uses it. And abuses women. Yeah. To make up for it. Yeah. So, There's like a pentagram and some Satanist stuff. Look at that one. I love mom. That's a nice one. Do you think anyone's died in here? Probably not. I'm probably standing in piss. All right, so that was our adventure to Birdhouse Paradise. Uh, what did you think of everything today, Jackson? Uh, it was amazing. Definitely looking forward to uh, maybe doing it again sometime. Uh, and uh, before you go, guys, make sure to smash that like button and uh, give us a subscribe uh, just so you can see do more. Do that. See do that. Hoosier, Definitely do that. See more Hoosier Boo content in the future. Yeah, so if you like this video, I've been to a bunch of other roadside attractions, abandoned places, all sorts of stuff. So uh, check those videos out, do what he said, and thanks for watching.